Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing my top 10 barbecue tips for beginners. But before we get stuck into it, make sure you've subscribed to our channel because we've got so many good videos coming out every week and I don't want you to miss out on them. And if you've got any barbecue tips that you wanna share yourself, make sure you drop them in the comments below. So now, we'll get stuck into it. All right, so these barbecue tips are in no particular order, so don't stress, but we're gonna start with barbecue tip number one, high heat gloves. Now your hands are the most important tool that you have. You use them the most and a good way to protect them is with some high heat gloves. You can get some for about 10 to 15 bucks. These are just some welding gloves or if you want something a bit thicker, a bit better quality and a lot comfier, you spend 30 to 50 bucks and get something like that. Now these are really handy if you're moving around any charcoal baskets, if you're working with an offset smoker and you're sort of topping up with hot logs, if you need to remove your cooking grate to top up charcoal or make any adjustments, wear some high heat gloves. You don't want to burn on your hand. It's not going to end well. So that's barbecue tip number one. Now barbecue tip number two, and this may seem a bit silly, but trust me, I've seen some nasty photos, is to wear enclosed shoes whenever you can when barbecuing. Heard of some stories where people have opened the side door in their offset smoker and some charcoal's fallen out onto their foot and they've ended up with some really nasty burns on their foot. I've also heard of some stories where people have got a really old chimney starter that they've probably used for years and years and the rivets or the screws on the side have sort of corroded and they've dropped a full chimney of red hot charcoal all over their legs and feet and they've been wearing thongs and they've ended up with some really bad burns and they've ended up in hospital because of it. I know it's very unlikely, but seriously, you don't wanna accidentally drop it if you've got your dog around you, your kids around you, your family. Dropping a full chimney worth of charcoal is gonna end badly, especially if it lands on your feet. So wherever you can, wear enclosed shoes. Like I said, I know it sounds silly, but you don't wanna risk burning yourself or someone around you. Now barbecue tip number three is to clean your barbecue. This is more relevant to your gas barbecues, your pellets and your gravity smokers like this one where you've got sort of heat deflectors that block your vision from any grease buildup or fat buildup. It's gonna cause a nasty grease fire potentially and they are hard to get out. And when you get it out, you're gonna create a massive mess and you're probably gonna ruin whatever you're cooking. So always just inspect your barbecue. If you've got a nasty grease buildup, it only takes one bit of charcoal or hot fat to drip in the wrong place to start a nasty grease fire. And like I said, they're hard to get out and something you don't want to experience. So clean and maintain your barbecue and you'll save yourself that trouble. Now, barbecue tip number four is to inspect and maintain your equipment and accessories. I know we lightly touched on this before, but things like wire brushes, they can rust and the little bristles can snap when you're cleaning. You don't want it to snap off land on the floor and you don't want to end up with one of these in your foot or in your food. That'll end really badly. And I know we mentioned about the chimney starters, but here's a good example. Mine's really started to rust around where the screws are. So I've picked myself up a new one because I don't want the bottom of that to fall out and potentially burn my foot. And I've also picked myself up a nice new brush as well. So I'd rather spend 10, 20 bucks replacing this sort of stuff every couple of years than end up with a really bad burn or dumping some charcoal by accident on my dog because the bottom of that's fallen out. So it doesn't take much, but a quick look, you notice that it stands out really easily. So inspect and maintain your equipment and accessories. All right, barbecue tip number five is get yourself a chimney starter. They make life so much easier. They make charcoal so easy to light and you've got the luxury of putting your lit charcoal anywhere within your barbecue that you want rather than having a pile of charcoal in there. It's a mess to sort of move around. Having one of these is great if you want to start the snake method, or if you just want to dump a heap in there and get it in a nice position to get that nice sear on a steak. This makes life so much easier. You can put your fire lighters underneath, fill your charcoal up, light them up, and within 10, 20 minutes, you've got a nice couple of kilos of nice ashed over red hot briquettes ready to go. So I'd highly recommend one of them. Now, barbecue tip number six is to try and get yourself a meat thermometer. They're cheap, they're easily accessible. You can get them from supermarkets, hardware stores, and there's heaps online. You can get them for as cheap as 10 bucks, and they just really help to take the guesswork out of your cooking. If you're trying to aim for that perfect medium steak, take the guesswork out and check it with a meat thermometer. 
you can get more consistent results. So like I said, try and get one of these if you can afford it. It's gonna really help improve your barbecue game and achieve more consistent results. Now, barbecue tip number seven is to cook to internal temperature and feel, not time. Only use time as a rough guide. I've seen too many people post on Facebook and Instagram and social media saying, I read this recipe or I got told this brisket or pulled pork will take eight hours. So I pulled it off after eight hours and it was crap or not what they were expecting. Go to internal temperature and feel. There's so much information on Google about different primals or different cuts what internal temperature you should be taking them to. For example, brisket, a lot of people like to take that off around the 205 Fahrenheit or 96 degrees Celsius mark. It might not be around that range. It might be more towards 215 or it might be more towards 200. That's why you should always go by feel as well. Get to know what that probe tenderness everyone talks about feels like. Pick it up, it should feel a certain way. Really get to know what the right feel is when you're cooking your pulled pork, your briskets, your ribs, they should all feel a certain way. It's only gonna come with experience. So cook to internal temperature and feel, use time as a very rough guide only. Now barbecue tip number eight is to try and use good quality fuel, smoking wood and meat if you can afford it. It always pays to spend the extra couple of bucks and get some quality stuff. So you fuel, there's some really nasty stuff out there that's just full of chemicals. It's gonna give you a really bad experience. So do some research, find out what is a good brand with a good reputation, do some research, try and find something local so you can talk to that business a bit about it. They'll be able to give you some tips and tricks and some good knowledge on how to use it. Same with your smoking wood. A lot of this imported stuff is kiln dried. It burns really quick and some of it has a really nasty taste. Again, get something local with a good reputation. Facebook and Instagram are all really good forums to get onto and ask some questions because you can get onto some local groups to you and get some really good information. And then the meat, build a relationship with your butcher, whether you've got a good supermarket butcher, not that there's many of them left these days, or a good standalone butcher, talk to them, tell them what you're trying to achieve. They'll be able to point you in the right direction of what sort of meat to use. They'll probably have some really good information on how to cook it or smoke it as well. A lot of them get taught that these days. So build a relationship with your butcher. They'll get you some really good meat at a really good price. It pays to pay the little bit extra. Otherwise you end up with some crap lean piece of meat that's just gonna potentially turn out dry. So. That's a really good tip as well. Spend the extra money, get some quality fuel, smoking wood and meat. Now barbecue tip number nine is cook how you like to cook and eat how you like to eat. If you like your steak blue, that's fine. If you wanna post that stuff on social media, just be prepared. There's internet trolls out there. Don't be influenced by them. If you wanna dig a hole, build a fire and cook all your meat on that, go for it. If you wanna use a pellet smoker, Maybe don't do that, that's all right. If you've got a really time poor lifestyle, a pellet smoker is honestly a good decision. They basically do all the work for you. Be proud of it. If you wanna cook on a Weber, go for it. Find something that suits you and suits your lifestyle. Stick to it and be proud of it. So barbecue tip number 10, this is our last one and it's to not be afraid to ask questions and do research. So if you do that before you have your first cook or your second cook, you can have a much better experience and if you try and figure it out all by yourself, you might end up having a bad experience. Don't want that to put you off barbecuing if you have a bad experience. Learn from it, ask questions, watch some YouTube videos, Google some stuff, join a Facebook group. There's so many good people out there willing to help but there is some idiots out there too, but just ignore them and move on to the next person. Seriously, you're gonna have a much better experience gaining a good understanding of what you're trying to achieve before you do it. That's how I started out. I was able to talk to some really good barbecue people and pestered them with questions. They were so helpful and I had a much better experience starting out than a few people I know who tried to figure it out for themselves and put a few of them off barbecue for good. So if you start having some really good barbecue, Early on when you're trying to start out, you're gonna be doing it for a lot longer. You'll probably do it for the rest of your life. So 
take that barbecue tip on board is probably my most important one. So that's the end of our barbecue tips. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our channel, give it a thumbs up, give it a heart, share it around. And if you've got a barbecue tip you wanna share for yourself, drop it in the comments below so everyone else can see. And we'll see you next time. I need to get away from these flies and grab another beer. So we'll see you later.